Hey guys, I'm John from Retrobit, and right here what you're seeing is our Tribute 64 controllers. We just came out with these. We have the USB version on the right here and the N64 port versions on the left. They're a reimagining of the Hori controller from back in the day with a little bit of a modern twist on it. Yep, so much better analog stick than what's on the market right now. And you can pick them up right now. We have our E3 special right now for $30 for the USB version, $25 for the N64 port. And you can find them on Amazon, eBay, wherever you can find you know all your gaming needs. All right, right here we're looking at our Dreamcast controller. It's uh, codenamed Dreamcast 2020. It's actually come out in 2019 though, hopefully. Um, this is our very rough prototype. It's actually got six buttons on the face versus the four that the original had. So this one's perfect for fighting games. And as you can see on the left side, we have a Saturn D-pad instead of the Dreamcast's notorious plus sign D-pad that everyone, you know, wished they had the old Saturn one on. Um, we also have an N60, or sorry, Xbox One stick on there uh, instead of the original plastic one. So it'll feel a lot better in your hands. So the reason for these improvements are, you know, you're gonna find a lot of the Dreamcast controllers on the market already, you know, second hand. You can even find some new ones out there. So we really wanted to put a new twist on this and revamp it so it, it you know, can fit all your needs. One controller for everything. You have all the buttons you need, no problems here. This is gonna come out in September. Uh, the price is, you know, $30 MSRP. That could change depending on features we may add. Uh, we're planning on wireless one as well. So, you know, news later on that. Yep, yeah, so we have a Dreamcast port version, we have a USB version, and then we're planning on working on a wireless, which would probably be 2.4 gigahertz and a Bluetooth one, so you can get, you know, it working on Switch. Right here we have our new Digicon prototypes. They're a take on the Hori GameCube controller that was more of a SNES style pad. So these are more fit for like a platforming kind of thing with you have the small sticks, but you know, they're not too much emphasis on that. You really want to focus on that D-pad. So we have them for the GameCube and we also have them for the N64 on the back here. Controller is more about the form factor and uh, trying to get that Super Nintendo feel. This is our new baby. This is our Tribute 64 wireless. We've uh, worked a bit more on the back here. I'll show you that in a minute. So we've uh, repositioned the D-pad a little bit to the left here to make it more of a modern controller. You have the same precision analog stick that we have on the actual Tribute, same button layout, and we're gonna put 2.4 gigahertz in this so it'll work on your N64 or PC, whatever you wanna plug it into with USB with minimal lag. So as you can see, the back's a little bit different than the actual Hori and our Tribute 64. Uh, I took a bit more of a you know Wii U gamepad approach to this. I wanted to bring back the Z triggers and the way they felt on the actual N64 controller. So, you know, the first thing I noticed was the actual Tribute 64, it was missing the trigger feel on GoldenEye. So, this is my answer to that. So right here up top, we have the Bluetooth uh, Saturn and Genesis controllers. They're gonna be compatible with Switch, and they're also gonna be you know, compatible with any Bluetooth device. Now, you could also get dongles for these to work with your original retro consoles like the Saturn and Genesis. Now, the Bluetooth ones right here, you're gonna see they have a vibration motor in there. So these ones have a little bit more of an added feature over the 2.4 down here you're gonna be able to sync them up and actually get vibration feedback on all your games, as well as your home button, your select button, and we have a whole bunch of macros planned for this, so you can switch from you know whatever profiles you want, switch this to an analog stick versus the D-pad for all different games that you need different things. So Bluetooth's coming out a little bit later, it's October, November, you know, holiday 2019. Uh, these are planned for $40 MSRP, $39.99. This is our new NES Max style, uh, you know, inspired prototype we got here. Um, this one's a little different. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna see, hey, just the NES Max. It's a bit more than that. So the original NES Max, I picked up two years ago for the first time, and I touched the actual cycloid on it, and it didn't recenter. I thought it would be like a 3DS stick. So when I joined the company, I saw this on the shelf. I was like, hey, why don't we just revisit this and put actual 3DS stick in there? So. This will slide around and it recenters on its own now. Now it's not analog, it's still digital, so you're gonna get the eight way directions on here, but it's functioning as I believe Nintendo wishes it would back in the day. And this will be coming out in September 2019 at an MSRP of 19.99.
Now do your closing. So here at Retrobit, we're trying to bring back a lot of the classics and revamp a lot of our lineup, you know, bringing back the quality, really push forward to the future. You can find more information about our products at retro-bit.com or on all of our social media at Retrobit Gaming.